Did you really do the fucking clap again? <laughs> <laughs> it's a force of habit at this point. <laughs> it's such a great clap, I love it. It is. Alright, so we're recording now. Uh, okay, cool. This is gonna be the Kingdom Hearts 3 hype train video. Let's fucking go. Oh my fucking I'm gonna God. close it, this PewDiePie tab. <laughs> it's still so it, okay real talk it's still so surreal that we're even getting kingdom hearts 3 in the it, first place it really fucking is i'm so excited that we're finally getting it because i i know for a fact you and i are lore aficionados on kingdom hearts we every, have stuck with this series since kingdom hearts 1 and every, like every actually minor sequel, every you get what i'm saying we we've, we've <laughs> We follow the story through one to now. Well, here's the thing. I didn't start with one. No, I'm not saying we started with one. I, I didn't even start with one. I've I still haven't finished one. Seriously? I've not I've never finished Kingdom Hearts one or Chain of Memories. I watched Bree finish Kingdom Hearts one, but I personally did not finish it. Wow. I'm I'm actually kinda shocked at that. It's because I'm not I, at Chain of Memories. I don't like Kingdom Hearts one a whole lot. I don't like, like, the gameplay style of it. I'm not a fan of it, and I'm not a fan of, like, the camera in it. it it's just, like, I, I'm not a huge f fan of Kingdom Hearts 1. But 2, and every game since 2, except for Recoded and the mobile game, I love. I I haven't been with the series since 1, but I, I appreciate 1. 1's not my favorite game. I appreciate what 1 has set up for us what one has established and what one is but there's a lot of it, it hasn't aged well at all so like i well. i i totally 100 percent appreciate kingdom hearts one i just don't Absolutely. like the gameplay like it, and, it's rough and some of the worlds <laughs> some of the worlds are really rough and it has it has a really bad way of directing the player also, just fuck the Tarzan world. <laughs> I I, I want to say it directs the players like a Final Fantasy game, in a way where you have to be paying attention to the cutscenes. You and, can't just hit skip scene and go and know where you're going, like in two, and largely Birth by Sleep. Well, when I played it, I still paid attention to the cutscenes and got lost. <laughs> I, I didn't get I didn't get nearly as lost as I did in um did my first playthrough. I didn't get nearly as lost as I did uh. Can watch to revisiting I, that after years of not playing it. I got lost in Traverse Town at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I had no clue where to fucking go. <laughs> so right now, I'm assuming Ted has this pulled up as well, but yes. I've got the uh, the Kingdom Hearts three personality quiz, <laughs> which like I pulled up Twitter just as we were sitting down to do this and. This thing right here came up called Witch Kingdom Hearts 3. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I'm concerned. And then it turns out that it's just fucking... It's a personality quiz. An official one. An official a one. Not and something you'd find on, like, Quizly or something. Yeah, an official Kingdom Hearts 3 personality quiz. So, let's get started with this. Yep. Wait, hold on. Log in or register first and unlock a special avatar. Uh, it's for the Square Enix side. I'm not... Yeah, I don't give a shit. Hey, I like... I hold on. The fucking buttons, they have the different icons. Yeah, yeah for Dream Meters, Nobody's, Unverse, and Heartless. It's not Dream That's Meter. That's so cool. Yeah. It, it's Heartless, they... Nobody, Unverse, and then it's the, um... It's the Birth by Sleep symbol. Fuck, you're right. Oh, my God. I, I confused the Unverse symbol for For Dream Meter? Dream Meters. So, there's one ice cream left on sale, which your friend really wants. What do you do? I bought it for a friend. I'm gonna let the friend buy it. Because I'm not gonna spend money for that. I'd spend money for that. Who would you share a friendship bracelet with? I'd share a friendship bracelet with you, Ted. I'd share a friendship bracelet with you two, Roxy. That's but a pretty big I decision. Say, I have to say, if I were to share a friendship bracelet with anyone, it'd be the love of my life. I would say my best friend. 
You're home alone. You hear a sudden noise. What do you do? I yell. <laughs> if I'm if I'm at the house alone and I hear like a random ass noise, I yell. I'm like, "Hey, who the fuck's here?" I hide. I get scared. <laughs> like, like, like I'm a fucking cat. Like everything fucking scares me. <laughs> There's not a yelling option, so I. Guess I you- would it be continue or bravely run towards the noise? I'd say bravely run towards the noise because yelling at the thing is just <laughs> as dangerous as as uh as yeah running at it. You're learning how to skateboard, but you keep falling over. How do you react? <laughs> Fuck this noise! Go online to research new techniques. And give up. This is too much work. Keep pr- keep practicing. You'll get there eventually. Ask your friends for help. I'm gonna ask my friends for help. I. Hmm. I'd give up. <laughs> I'd give up. Why would you fuck... give up? Because <laughs> fuck skateboarding. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> Radiant Garden is being rebuilt. What job will you pick up? <laughs> Oh, uh, obviously, knowing me, I'm gonna be a famous fucking pop star. It's not like I'm going to fucking, to fucking art art school soon or anything. Uh, I don't like to think about work. <laughs> That's fair. That is fair. If you were an animal, which of the following you'd be? I'd be a fucking cat. I'd be a dog in actuality. Be a chihuahua. Fucking, probably. Be a fucking yippy dog. Yeah, it'd be a yippy. Who would you invite to go on holiday with you? Buzz Lightyear, Captain Jack Sparrow, Mickey, or Maleficent? Alright, one, one of these answers I'm not going to choose because that motherfucker will steal literally everything in my house. I'm not going to choose another one because that's just a fucking villain. I guess I'm going with the... I guess I'm going with the thing that, 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 got, that caught me off guard with Kingdom Hearts fucking Mickey Mouse. Well, okay... If I'm going on holiday somewhere, I'm going to take Jack Sparrow. <laughs> he looks like he would be fun to have with you. And, you know, he's going to be bringing the alcohol, probably. Or he'd steal it, one or the other. He'd most likely steal it. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> and then steal more alcohol. Either fucking way. <laughs> In battle, what would your weapon of choice be? The magic wand. The dream sword. The destructor shield, or I don't like the fight. This is a really cool callback. Um, I, I'm gonna go with the choice I've always made in the game. Sword. When they gave us the choice. The sword. I, I, I always choose the sword. I think I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'd probably go with the sword too. I probably would. What's your favorite season? Autumn. How would your friends describe you? Optimistic, okay. proud, genius, loyal. <laughs> well, one of these things is right off, right off the fucking list because none of my friends think I'm fucking smart. I'm a fucking moron. Yeah. Same. Uh, I don't know. Would you describe me as proud, optimistic, or loyal, Ted? I, 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 I describe you as optimistic. Okay, well, I guess I would describe you as, like, proud or loyal, one or the other. Both. Proud, proud, proud. Proud. Alright. What would we find you doing in your spare time? Jacking off! That's not on here, so I can't answer that. Uh, I feel like that's the only, like, appropriate, immediate response. I- immediate response? Yes. Appropriate? Fuck no. Just be well, like appropriate, appropriate for an immediate response. Just Dang. because it's fucking funny. It, 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 yeah, and yeah, honestly, that's, that's what we fucking do. Hanging out with my friends, playing By fat bull, we're not gay. gardening, or watching television. You can catch me watching fucking TV, boy. Uh, I don't really watch TV. I do. I watch a lot of TV. I guess it would be hanging out with friends. I mean, I did hang out with my cousin and a friend last night. So For the Broly movie, right? Yeah, for the Broly movie. Sick, sick. Come what is most important to you? 
Oh right. no! This is all. This is, as soon as I see this question, I already know what I'm choosing. Love. Because this is yeah, love. Love is the most important thing to me. As cheesy as it is, friendship is like always the most important to me. Always is. I kind of I, I kind of rope love and friendship into the same way because you can love a friend platonically. Yeah. And you can have a separate lover in a romantic sense. Yeah, it's just that like. I, I view them completely different That's because true. I rarely say I rarely use like I love you anymore to anyone so yeah. it's usually like it's just I've always valued friends the most because like if I'm dating someone and I genuinely love them then it's gonna be they have moved from like friendship to advanced friendship <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is that's it, what it is it, it ain't love it's advanced friendship <laughs> oh yeah that's a, that's a way to describe it so what is your favorite genre of music easy rock also i want to I, 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 like po- I want to point out the um the personality quiz has 13 questions oh I that's I that. that's uh... okay I... wait okay, the I together agree. trailer okay let's watch we this skip that no, I'm watching it. Fuck you. It's what thirty. Fu- it's thirty seconds. All right. When you let me know when you're done with that, cause I'm fuck. I'm I'm pissed at who the fuck I got. Did she get put? Did she get fucking Mickey Mouse or something? No, no. It, close to it, but no. I, oh. I, you got Donald up bet. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to fucking God. Every personality quiz I take, I get the dumbest fucking characters. You got... I get the motherfucker who can't heal you worth a damn. You know what? That's that's what I want to start the next conversation topic with. Our biggest hopes for Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, I hope no. to fuck Donald heals your bitch ass. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope no. to high fuck Donald heals us. Ted, What'd you get? I-, I want you to know that you've got a friend in me. <laughs> I... Take a guess at who I got. Woody? <laughs> I got fucking Woody! <laughs> So, so I, I, so it's canon now. Woody listens to rock, and Donald listens to rap. Apparently, um, the uh, the fucking southerner got Woody. <laughs> that's that's a whole new level of ironic. <laughs> fucking Christ! Holy shit! <laughs> holy shit! Oh, uh, that's just that's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucking funny. So. I had a burp. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Nice. <sighs> Woo. So yeah, about the uh, the AI. Let's talk about yeah. that. Okay, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take us way back to Kingdom Hearts One with its AI. Um, its AI was kind of I don't want to say revolutionary, but it was kind of its own thing for a very long time because it was. It was nice to have. It was, I think, not in, not the first game, but the first game to do it correctly. It was the first game to do it correctly where AI could be on the screen with you. You could have a consistent frame rate with it. And they were somewhat intelligent. intelligent. Not saying they were 100%. I'm saying they were somewhat intelligent. <laughs> but other than that, I think Kingdom Hearts 3's AI will be vastly improved from 2's Birth by Sleeps, uh, especially Dream Drop Distance. I hope it is. I'm not really... Here's the thing. Most people, like, make the meme of, haha, Donald never heals, lol, XD. And, like, that may be true for 1, but in 2... He, like, consistently healed me. There have been moments where it's like, I needed him to heal me, and he didn't, because he didn't have the MP for it. But, he he's healed me before. And, he was, like, consistent about it. So, I think it, it's a way of, like, how you have to set it up, right? Because, you know, you, uh... can, you can completely disable Donald's attacks in 2, and make it where he only heals you. Yeah, yeah, with AI behavior and stuff and all that. You could do that. 
Well, you can outright disable his uh, fire, thunder, and blizzard magic. No, that's what I'm saying. Like with with AI behaviors, you can you can edit his behavior with, yeah. um, with within the menus. Yeah, and make it so he only heals you. And I know I never do that. I usually make it so it's like he he attacks conservatively, but heals me overall. If that makes sense. Mm. Where it's like he'll still attack, but he doesn't attack as frequently as he would as he would be for healing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I've always kind of I've always kind of trusted myself with healing more than. Oh yeah, totally. AI. Like I, I've I've always just had Donald attack because I because from from the get go with my experience of Kingdom Hearts two, um, he rarely healed me and it was not fun. So it's just like from my uh, my, uh, my subsequent play playthroughs when I revisited the game when I was much much older, have always always been turn off healing and I'll heal myself because yeah. I've always I'm 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 more comfortable with my own ability to heal myself than I am with Donald's AI because I don't know I just am I feel that I I totally feel that because like. Let's say you play Dream Drop Distance, you know, you can really only rely on yourself for healing. You can't yeah. use the Dream Eaters to, like, appropriately rely on health. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so, and, and there's, like, a lot of solo battles, too, where you don't even get Dream Eaters. Yeah, you have to, are. like, rely on yourself. So, like, I, I get that. And I'm sure, I'm sure Kingdom Hearts 3 is gonna have, like, a vastly better more fine-tuned ai for that especially Let's hope. especially since now you've got more than just the two partners now you can yeah. have you can have like up to five yeah on screen at once yeah that's that's something we're going to be bringing up a lot because we're kingdom hearts we, we our our experience if i'm not mistaken it mainly lies with uh birth by sleep in two and that that's where all of our like biggest gripes come from is because we had we love the games to death. It's just with those two, they kind of set in stone a lot of you know be for things you, that we but... want to. Well, for me, okay, then for me, for me personally, Birth by Sleep and Two have set in stone a lot of mechanics and a lot of tropes and a lot of ways to play Kingdom Hearts that I wish they would expand on in three. Because in two, I love having Jack in my party. But I don't want to sacrifice another party member for Jack. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's like, it it it's like that. And with how Birth by Sleep did it, you were essentially playing by yourself the entire time, except for a couple of fights. But you did for, have for the a summons. Couple. Yeah, for a couple of fights and D links. Those were yeah. Thing. The D links were really nice. <laughs> which there, I think that's what's replacing outright summons is like a link system in three. Wait. Like we've seen, I, like we've seen images of it, but like nothing's really been explained about it, to to my knowledge at least. I don't think I don't think it's been replaced. I think it's like they took D links and summons and sort of like mixed it together because what they did for three is they took a lot of elements from two and Birth by Sleep and put them together, and so like if you played zero point two with Fragmentary Passage, which is like the you could consider it like the, the test demo for three. It, it, it is the tech demo for three. It's it's got a lot of elements of two and a lot of birth by sleep elements like the command styles. Yeah, those exist within three. And shot locks. And shot locks, yeah. And I'm really glad shot locks are coming back. I love shot locks. And the, the cool shot locks in three look like they have so much more going on with them. Like they in, look in, like in, they've got a lot more like mobility stuff with them too. In my humble opinion, I think shot locks are going to break Kingdom Hearts three in half. Mm, I don't know. You could you can break Birth by Sleep, Terra Story, for example. You can break his like final bosses so fucking easily with just a, a just one certain shot lock, and you get it during the Ericus fight. The um, you don't get a shot lock from Ericus. Yeah, you, do. you get you get you one get, during it. No, you and don't. And you get the whole command style. Yeah, you do. You get the command style, but you don't get a shot lock for it. I thought you got the shot lock for it. No, you start off with Sonic Shadow. 
That's the very first shot lock Terra gets. Then you yeah. get the like the f dark version of the flame salvo after the Zigbar fight. Because Zigbar? yeah, because um he he like shows that uh uh Xehanort is tied up and Terra gets like really pissed and he sends out those two dark orbs and that's how Bragg lost his eye. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. But you get you get the like full on dark theme command style from the Ericus fight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my memory's a little hazy on Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Cause uh it's been a while since I touched Birth by Sleep. Cause I I'm a, I'm a two fan. Like honestly, like I played I, the I, fuck out of Birth by Sleep. I like, played the fuck out of a section of Birth by Sleep. Not the whole game. And my section I've played the most has been Aqua and Ventus. I've only played half of the story. Uh, because I don't like how Terra plays. You don't like the slower, harder-hitting style? No, I really don't. It doesn't... That That's fair. He, uh, I'd say, like, halfway through his story to, like, almost being done with it, his play style starts to, like, really pick up in speed because you can start getting the faster command styles. But, like, to start out, he is pretty slow. And it's really hard to get into his uh his whole shtick in in the beginning, because it's like, I'm I'm so used to playing, Birth I Sleep in such a way where I'm already, with level three Thundagas and Grav Gravagas, and I'm not used to actually using my Keyblade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to just spamming magic like everywhere I go, like I'm a walking fucking black hole. That's fair. I I typically like to, I I like to run like a mix of decks. Like I'm sure I've got. Let me see if I can pull out a Notepad real quick, because back whenever Bree was playing it, I uh, it, it, her her command decks that she used were the ones that I made. <laughs> so like everything she used in the game was from me. So let's that, see if I that... still have them open. I'm glad I'm glad you're bringing up like command decks. I'm, I'm glad we brought up command decks and shit because that's something I I really want to see in three. I, I want to see what people make for command decks, and I want to see. I don't how think command decks it. are in three. I can't tell from the trailers. Maybe I'm just drinking dumb bitch juice again. But from what the trailers show, it looks like it looks like you've got the. Um, because there weren't there weren't command decks in uh, zero point two. It looks like you just like once you start getting combos going, you can get different moves used. Like you can get like a really strong fire move at the end of a combo, or like a really strong blizzard move at the end of the combo. But right, but right, the command okay. decks in general don't exist in three because they weren't in zero point two. Right. Okay. But, like, when she was playing as Ventus, this is what I ended up having her use. So she used the Sonic Blade, the Thunder Surge, Fire Surge, Ars Arcanum, Salvation, and Kuraga. Hmm. And so, like, it, it was, like, a very, it was a very powerful deck that makes short work of enemies. I don't have my Aqua one or my Terra one, though. See, with, with, te with Aqua and Ven, I... I use the same deck for Aqua and Ven because they are both really good magic users. Um, but the the deck I always ran is Gravaga Grav 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 and Thundaga, uh, repeated. And then at the end of it is a Kiraga in case I need to heal. Because what Gravaga does, for those who are uninformed, it brings everyone into a nice big fuck you ball. Nope. And what Thundaga does, yeah? Nope. That's Magnega. Gravago, what it does is it just lifts them up into the air and makes them immobile for a while. Well, there you go, proving that I fucking inept at remembering shit. <laughs> anyway, I used I used Magnaga, Magnaga, Mag Magnaga and Magnaga, whatever. You'll eventually <laughs> used, get it I, right. <laughs> I'll eventually fucking get it right. Anyway, I used that with it because after watching, um, uh, I think it was Adam Tooth. Three, two, 
I think his name is, a really popular Birth by Sleep speedrunner. After watching his run on, um, I think it was either Limit Break or GDQ, I realized how fucking powerful that combo is, and it just carried me through the game, final boss and all. Oh yeah, like, it's, obviously it's I super had... strong. It's a really, really powerful deck. For Terra, what I ended up using was just I used a bunch of, like, I used a bunch of Surge Commands. Mixed with like Xantetsuken, Dark Haze, and Xantetsuken, man, that's that's a fucking that. And if you want to talk about fucking ability, that's probably my favorite looking ability is Xantetsuken. And it's Terra exclusive. Mm -hmm. Ven and Aqua don't get that. Nope. But like, I like Dark Haze a whole lot. There's like, there's certain moods that Terra got that. I just I I can't remember them right now, but they were really really powerful, and I would I would type the like website I use to like use meld commands, but my keyboard's very loud. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, uh so what else are we excited my... for with Kingdom Hearts three? We need to talk about that more than we need to talk about two and Birth by Sleep. I'm excited. <laughs> for obviously and, and the biggest cop out here and i'm i'm wholeheartedly admitting it's a cop out i'm honest to god excited for the soundtrack of kingdom hearts 3 god fucking same i love yoko shimomura's fucking com compo like compositions a lot her final fantasy stuff fucking amazing her super mario in the rp super mario rpg in the seven stars fucking amazing her kingdom hearts stuff fucking outstanding i love her compositions and i really can't wait to hear what she has for three like we got a glimpse of it from a few of the trailers but i want to hear i want to hear her really pull out all the stops for everything i i'm really interested on how the soundtrack is going to go like i'm curious if the audio will scale to the battle or like so, so like what I mean by that is like in Breath of the Wild, you know, whenever you go from like, uh, or not Breath of the Wild, I think it was like Wind Waker or Skyward Sword. There was like a little orchestrated thing whenever you were like hitting the music would like move in time with or play in a certain style of how you were hitting it. I guess it's it's weird to explain, and I might be completely wrong, and I might be drinking the dumb bitch juice right now could be i i i wouldn't know i've never like i said uh i've never played wind waker so i can't really i can't really like yeah <laughs> confirm or deny it, it, it's like it, there's just like a certain thing where it's like when you're hitting the enemy some kind of music or sound effect will like scale with it and... oh that's what you mean with um yeah when like in uh when because i remember in watching wind waker on choga conroy fuck ages ago god damn when link would hit certain times there'd be a little sound cue and it'd go boom 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 mm -hmm. yeah like that okay. i hope um, that is a thing in three because like it's it's one of my most satisfying things to listen to because it gives you like a really good feel of how your hits are going i'm i'm perfectly perfectly content with just hearing the keyblade sound effects like smack the fuck out of the enemies I am too. I just hope uh, TP made a good point a while back. I can't remember if it was in Splatformers or if it was in Jester's room. Like May Splatformers, rest in peace. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't remember where it was, but like the Keyblade sound effects didn't really add, uh, like link up properly whenever you hit something. And it sounded, it sounded weird. It's like, let me find it, hold on. Loud keyboard noises. Yeah, it's not here. Hmm. But he said that it's like, it, it didn't, the noises of the keyblade didn't sound really well compared to, like, the Keyblade you were using. I don't know. I hope the Keyblade sound effects, like, genuinely sound decent whenever you hit them, because I do, I do understand, I did understand what he meant. 
Yeah, and I'm having trouble understanding on myself. It's like if you hit something with the keyblade, you would think you'd hear like a metallic sound instead of like a like just like a thud. Well, you you also have to remember you you have to kind of I guess I don't want to say think, but you have to kind of imagine that you're yeah. hitting something fleshy. Because yeah. that's because we don't know what the fuck what shadows or heartless feel like mostly. We we know that knights clink and clank when you hit them, and there's a little clink clink to their hits. We know fat bodies are big and bouncy and hollow inside, so you hear a little hollow hit when you hope, actually manage to hit them. Speaking of them, I hope the fucking fat heartless, the fat unverse, don't come back. I don't want to deal with them anymore. I. I hope they do come back, because I love the fat bodies. I hate them so fucking much. I love the fat bodies. And you know you know why I love the fat bodies? Is it because they are fucking units. Absolute fucking big chunkus units. They're fucking annoying though. Like I don't wanna have them. I don't wanna have to like jump over it or like get behind it in order to beat the shit out of it. I just want to look at it dead in its face and just go whack with a fucking keyblade and watch it take damage. That's what I want. Well. And I, I no. mean, you can use magic on it, but that feels like a cop out. I mean, they're they're meant for players. They're meant for they're they're kind of like a wrench in players plans because you can't just spam X. Uh, uh, well. Depending on your difficulty, you can't just spam X to win all the time. That's that's what they want you to do. They want you to think around the situation. They want you to move around the situation. <laughs> it's not so think, much. Move. It's not so much thinking think, think, around that's it. All, that's all reading to it. To it. Anyway, <laughs> I want. I want. <laughs> from the trailers we've seen of Kingdom Hearts Three, I'm really hype for the enemy variety we have. God, yet yeah. Oh, shit, my headphones. I leaned my head back and my headphones fell off my head. Smooth. God, yes, though. I'm... I am we... very excited for the enemies. We have the Unversed. We have yes. the Heartless. And we have the Nobodies. Returning? Yes! I want, I want to stress, because in 2 and everything else, Nobody's kind of got downplayed and Heartless came back into the scene. Because well, we kind of destroyed Org Thirteen. Every, mostly everyone's fucking dead from Org Thirteen or back in their bodies. So the nobody's coming back. I'm really excited for, and I really want there to be some new fucking nobodies. Because personal bias, I think the nobodies are some of the coolest enemies we've ever had in Kingdom Hearts. I. I like a lot of the nobodies. Just fuck the dancers. I hope they don't come back. I I even want the dancers coming back. I'm gonna say it. I want dancers coming back. And man, I, man, I remember I'm the <laughs> we were in I'm the we were in call, and you got hella pissed at the dancers. <laughs> because okay, so I'm the mask. So I I I stated this before on streams and out of streams and just in general. I'm going to be starting Kingdom Hearts 3 on proud mode. You're a dumbass. This game on the hardest difficulty. And I love, I love Kingdom Hearts 3. I love Kingdom Hearts 3's bleh, Kingdom Hearts difficulty. Because I think its difficulty scaling is fucking perfect. Easy is easy, is easy enough for people, for first timers to get accustomed to the game's mechanics. Normal is a great way to start getting a lot more accustomed to the mechanics. Proud mode is when you've gotten accustomed to literally everything this game has to offer to you, and you're mastering it. In critical mode, you're a dumb bitch who wants to torture yourself like I did. You a dumb bitch. I love critical mode, unironically. However, I swear to god, the dancers in critical mode fucking suck. But I even- I want them back in 3. Because I actively enjoyed fighting them, even though I screamed my fucking head off at them. And fuck the Dragoon. Because Dragoons fucking suck, dude. They one-shot me on stream. 
I like the the dragoons are the uh, they're the lance enemy, yeah. Yes, they are the lance enemy. I love the, the dragoons. Hmm. I love them, but I hate hate the fucking dancers. I hate the dragoons because when I was doing my first uh, uh, test stream with my Elgato. I was streaming Kingdom Hearts 2, and I was going through the Cavern of Remembrance, and I was in the last, I was in the hallway before the data fights, and as soon as I enter the room, a Dragoon spawned and jumped me, and fucking bodied me completely. Like, I was done. I was gone. I was dead. <laughs> and Fuck. I realized at, I realized at that point, fuck Dragoons, they suck dick. Well, the dancers one-shot you too, don't they? No. They just, they just really hurt. I'm pretty sure you mentioned that... they What they do is... If in they critical you, that they one-shot you. The, the thing is, they don't one-shot me because I had a, lucky, I had a second chance. And they th mm. think second chance is at full health, if you get, sh if you get shot... If you get hit with a move that's one, that one-shots you, you, you survive with one health. I got gotcha. So, and... At that time, they were stringing me. They one threw me, the other came at me, the other threw me, the other came at me, and I just I kept surviving with one HP. And then at one point, I hit X, panic like in a panic, and I lost the second chance. And then I fucking died. Fucking rip, man. Yeah, I just don't like dancers. They're annoying because they get in my fucking way, and it's like it, it, you can't break out of them. No, you're you're stuck in them, and it's just it's it feels more like an annoying hindrance than anything else. Yeah, a little bit. But I am ex I'm super excited for the enemies and the variety that we'll get because I I really want to see like I really want to have fights. Where we fight up against the fucking nobodies, unversed, and heartless all in one. I want a massive horde of enemies. I know. All I, mixed together. I know we're gonna get like something synonymous to the th to the thousand heartless fight, but I want more of it throughout the game. But not to the point where it's like that's the only thing you fight, you know. Because I don't, I want, I don't want the tornadoes from Birth by Sleep. I just want like th the Thousand Heartless fight again. Honestly, I, I want, I want another Thousand Heartless fight because Jesus Christ, that if when I think of hype as Kingdom Hearts moments, that's the one that comes to my head the most is the Thousand Heartless. So... Although I, I kind of wish with the uh, specifically with the HD remaster. They they up the variety of heartless because uh yeah. fighting the same ones over and over again got stale. I and wish I... you could do that fight all over again though. I wish you could actually re redo that fight without starting a new game. Yeah, because it's just a one and done deal. Yeah, and that's what I hope that we get in three is like a chance to. I hope we get a chance to sort of revisit major scenes and major fights towards like at, once you beat the game you know because like in two you've got the data fights but those are only organization member fights mm -hmm. i hope in three we get something akin to that but it's like if there was a really big fight like let's say you know you had to refight a heartless or not a heartless let's say there's like a really big heartless boss fight let's say once you beat the game and you do a bit more exploring there's a section that you can go to in order to refight that boss i hope that's a thing because i really want to do that again yeah honestly <clears throat> what else would be what else? Some more hype stuff. I'm excited for the characters. Yeah, I'm excited, yeah, I'm excited, for, excited the for the returning. I, I'm excited for the returning characters and the new characters. I I'm look. Obviously, I'm excited for Roxas and Shion. 
Lee and Axel. I want to know what's going on with them. I'm I'm excited for I'm excited for seeing all these characters. Excited for seeing that's English. Yeah, I'm excited for seeing them too. It's just this is gonna be it's gonna be really hype and really emotional. And there's ten days left. Well, 10 days as of recording this, that it is. Yep. At, as the, at the time of this recording, 10 days left. 10 for me, at least, because we're doing an early release. You yeah. might be. You should check at your GameStop I, and see if they're know. doing one. Next time I go next time I go to my GameStop that I pre-ordered Kingdom Hearts 3, and I will, I'll ask, like, hey, are you guys doing an early release? Because, you know, it, it varies from location to location, but I'm excited that we're doing one, because that means that I get to get it on the 28th. God, I'm just super fucking excited. I'm excited I'm to really... see the story come to an end. Yes, this chapter of the story. Yeah. I'm really excited. Because a lot of people seem to forget that Sora's journey isn't done here. No. It's the it the only bit that's done is the Seekers of Darkness. We still we still have fucking Potential. We still have more coming after this with Sora, but we don't know what it'll be. We don't know how this game's gonna end. And then we don't know what the secret ending's gonna be. No, we don't. That's something I'm really excited for too. The the secret endings. Cause they've been a huge thing for Kingdom Hearts ever since fucking the beginning of this goddamned franchise. Ever since one. Yeah. Because uh, I I love Nomura. I love him, but fuck, I hate him because <laughs> he thought Kingdom Hearts 1 was going to be the only thing he ever did with Kingdom Hearts. So he purposely put in that secret fucking trailer for with Roxas and Riku and the Neo Shadows and all that to purposely build hype hey, for I, a sequel. And it fucking worked, didn't it? It did work, but... I'm fucking pissed at him because he did the same fucking thing in 2 for Birth possibly Kingdom Sleep. Hearts 3, but he turned around and said, hey, yo, it's a prequel to fucking everything. And then slaps us in the face with Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. By the way, I play Union Cross. I like Union Cross. You do not. I'm not a fan of it, but I'm not going to say it's bad. No, it's not bad. And it's okay to not be a fan of it. It's okay to have a wrong opinion. Excuse you? No. Th this, no. Coming, <laughs> this coming from the man who hates the Daisy outfit and Bayonetta? You okay. really want to talk I, shit? Okay, if you're going to bring that up, if you're going to bring that up, if you're going to bring that up, get it right. I hate both the Peach and the Daisy. They're Echo Fighters. It's the same thing. And no, 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 no. They're classified as different things. They have different things on their costume, and one's orange and one's fucking pink. Yeah, but they're Echo Fighters. They're the same character. Don't give a fuck! The only difference is that one's pink and one's orange. They still do the same wicked weaves. Fair. <laughs> but yeah, I, um... Uh, I'm excited to see what the secret ending is going to be. Because we're not going to get it on the disc. So nobody gets it day one. Like, we, it's going to be added in a patch, like, a few days later. Like, let's see if I can... Did I put the link to the patch dates? Yes, I did. Oh, uh, that's, that's something I want to bring up. Fucking the Keyblades. I'm really hyped for all of them. God, all the new yes. Ones and, all the new ones and returning ones. I, I'm i really, really excited. Because we actually got a... I don't want to say confirmation, but we actually got a way to get the uh, Japanese fucking 7-Eleven Keyblade. No, because we don't. We're, yeah, we're getting it as the Amazon pre-order. Well, that's an Amazon pre-order. If you don't, If you pre-order elsewhere, then you won't get it. Yeah, no, but we're. I'm saying like we're still getting the we're getting the Japanese exclusive for Americans, just in a different way. And here's the thing: it's only for Americans. Like, fuck you if mm -hmm. you live in EU. Honestly, yeah, like 
Sorry yeah. about that. And it sucks too. That that, that kind of pisses me off. Although like, I although the... I will say real, real fast, I will say if we are wrong about that, correct us. Correct us, please, because from what we know, this is this is from what we know, what we've seen. Because like the. the... I, I feel bad for anybody that, like, pre-orders through Amazon per, because of, like, how Amazon did the fucking bullshit back when they were like, oh, we have a we have a Kingdom Hearts 3 announcement, ooh, and then they just fucking ruined it by not having an announcement. They hype up, they hype up a fucking trailer and then don't deliver. Yeah. And then they fucking joked about it on stream. Like, they were joking about kingdom hearts 3 fans on stream only to like realize that they didn't have what they what they what the majority of people there were for so yeah. for the free game update release schedule we have the day one patch on uh january 29th so it's gonna be like several data fixes and the memory archive yeah then on january 30th we get the epilogue and then on uh, the 31st, we get the secret. So mm -hmm. the way it works is we get the memory archive immediately. Uh, it added, it's, a, it's added to the game's title, can be viewed at any time. On the 30th, you have to have already beaten the game and seen the ending in order to view the epilogue. And then for the secret ending, you know, you have to beat the game, see the ending, and fulfill certain criteria during your gameplay in order to view the secret ending. Which is probably going to be reports of some co of some kind. 100%. Like, I don't think that's ever going to change, is that we're always going to get a form of the reports. Absolutely. But, here's the thing. That's for everywhere else. For Japan, they're getting... The they're getting the one point uh zero point one update in the memory archives on the twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. Then they get the epilogue video on the twenty sixth. But everyone gets the secret ending, Japan included, on the thirty first. So they have to they have a longer wait period for the secret ending than we do. But they still but they still get some content before us. Yeah. They they get the epilogue like four days before we do but they also get the game four days before we do that is true okay my okay biggest fear for kingdom hearts 3 please if you're gonna make a final mix version don't make it japanese exclusive here's the thing please i think we can already rule that out because i'm pretty sure nomura mentioned how he doesn't want or they're not gonna make a um they're not going to make a Final Mix version because of how big this version is. Like, they were already struggling with data on the default, on, like, the base version, that I don't think they're going to make a Final Mix. And I'm pretty sure no more I mentioned that. Let me, let me scroll through my DMs with Jam real quick. Come on. Yeah. Here we go. Let's open this up. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm looking for it. Okay. So, a major concern for Kingdom Hearts 3 is its high volume being met by capacity shortage. This is exacerbated by some cutscenes that are being made into movies for load time reduction, but consequently requires more capacity than expected. Uh, the final mix version isn't under consideration, since there's also the problem with running out of space. Nomura has plans to release D updates as DLC, so even if they do that, it won't be a final mix. Okay. So, it, it, TLDR, our final mix is going to be a shit ton of DLC. Yeah, pretty much. And currently, that exists as like three updates post-game launch. Which is totally fine with me. Yeah, I mean... Okay, so... I don't know about you, but... The, the mention of DLC has me very worried. Because for a very long time... For the main series, 1 and 2... And... I think only 1 and 2... 
the super boss of Sephiroth has always been in the game. And I hope to God they don't make Sephiroth the DLC. DLC boss fight. I really hope to God they don't. Here's the thing. If they do <laughs> DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3, I doubt it's going to be anything like that. I f- if anything, it'll be like... It'll be like maybe you get a special kind of weapon. Like a, cer- a certain kind of like Keyblade style. Mm-hmm. Or you might get like a little cool side quest. I, I doubt they're going to hide Sephiroth's secret boss fight. If Sephiroth's even in the game. That is true. Because the last we saw of Sephiroth, he blinked out of existence with Cloud. Yeah. We don't know if Cloud or Sephiroth will be in the game. We do know Squall is going to be in the game. Do we? Yeah, he he's he was he's part of the Radiant Garden crew. So is Aerith and all of them. Yeah, but we haven't seen any of them. No, but we also yeah, haven't seen is... Merlin. Well, Merlin's fucking dead. Well, he's not. Mer- Hot take, Merlin's fucking dead. No, he's not. Merlin's great. He's alive. The wizard can't die. He can turn into a squirrel. So can Loki. So? <laughs> Merlin's, co- the- Merlin's cooler. It's, okay, no. Hold no, on. I'm hold on. Right hold the fuck on. Here. Have you never seen the fucking sword in the stone? No, I haven't. What the f- <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, no, I'm not- I'm- I, I have no emotional attachment to Merlin. What the f- Fuck! Okay, so we're gonna watch this fucking Sword in the Stone. I'm gonna pull it up. What the- Right now? No. We're recording! <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, no. Um oh, oh, oh watch it on um, YouTube, three dollars. A, a big, 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 big thing I'm excited for. Um we saw a glimpse of lingering will. Did we? Yeah. I think we did, didn't we? When? In which trailer? Uh fuck it, my brain is not It wasn't the two minute one that I sent you. No, I think it was the one before that one. We saw something involving... We saw something involving Terra. I know that, for a fact. Well, of course Terra's gonna be there. Yeah, but I don't think... I, I, I don't think it's gonna be a lingering will fight. Because, like, we already had that fight in two. And I... No, not the fight, not the fight. I'm just saying, seeing more of lingering will. I don't think we will. I think it's just gonna be the armor. And then Terra shows up and is like, Hey, I'm still Terra. I'm a dumbass. This is all my fault. Hey, I'm fucking literally Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because at least Terra fought Xehanort. Like, Terra did beat the shit out of Xehanort. It's just that... He was drinking too much dumb bitch juice, and when Xehanort started to, like, you know, put his keyblade up to his fucking chest to take over his body, Terra just decided to not move like a dumbass. Well. It is the ultimate plot, the ultimate plot hole of not being able to move your legs when you need to run. So it's a Ken situation. From P3. I don't know. I haven't. I. I, Oh, you haven't played P3, right? It's not. I haven't played it. It's I haven't seen that. I played. I played the PS portable version up to like. I think it was the. I think it was like after the first boss. The the first the first um, the first full moon boss. Yeah. Which was like the 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 um train? Yeah, the train. Yeah. Okay. God, I know more about us. Okay, so that that's that's something I'm gonna that's something I want to say. I want to say real fast before we go any further. I am grateful for Kingdom Hearts because Kingdom Hearts has shown me not only 
the fantastic world of Squaresoft or Square Enix at this at this point in time, but they shown me other great fantastic JRPGs, and I really want to see more people get inspired from Kingdom Hearts three and make even more great JRPGs, because honest to God, we wouldn't have a lot of the fucking real hit, real big, real big bangers we have today without Kingdom Hearts. We really. And I will wouldn't. wholeheartedly stand by that. I will wholeheartedly stand by that. You know, Besides while it's on my mind, Fantasy. while it's on my mind, let's watch like the latest like trailer that came out, like mm-hmm. right now, and just go over it. Go over it. All right. Yeah. So I'm pulling it up right now. Yeah. Uh, it's posted somewhere in here, right? In Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, it's uh. Yeah, okay. There. It's the thing that I posted before the God. I can't wait for ten days. Fuck, it's so close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Saying, let's watch this real quick. And we're gonna skip all these people talking. So skip like thirty seconds in. Yeah, I'm at uh, I'm at twenty nine now. God, Buzz just turning on Woody the way that, he did. I want to know what happens with. That. I, I really, really do really too. Like it's so fucked, man. I want to know what what's on Sora's fucking face in the Big Kira Six world. Same. And then the Frozen scene is kind of fucked. Yeah. God, hearing Japanese Mickey is a fucking trip. It is. Isn't it a new voice actor for Japanese Mickey? Uh, I'm not too sure. It's either it's either he got a new one in Japanese or new one in English. I can't remember. I can't remember. God. I think it was English. So, this... so something this trailer, something this trailer shows, and we're coming up to it pretty close soon right now. Hold on, I hit pause they... on it because I want, I, I do want to go on a. Were you, were you going to talk about Rage Form? I was going to talk about Rage Form. I want to talk about Anti Form. I, I want to talk about something before that, real quick. Okay, go the, for it. The fucking I, the Blizzard Blade is what I want to talk about. Where Sora's Keyblade and hands become like ice blades and he skates around yeah i fucking <laughs> love that and i want to know if that's like a frozen world exclusive thing or if i can use that in other worlds because if i, I can use that in other worlds that's gonna be so fucking badass dude it's gonna it's gonna be really badass okay so one thing i really want kingdom hearts kingdom hearts 3 to have and i know it's like the most minute fucking thing i want them to have a combo system <laughs> They probably like, will. Like, like a like a hit system, like like with Devil May Cry or Bayonetta or Ninja Gaiden, where it keeps track of your hits and you can like get a score at the end of it. Because I'm a mm, score I, I don't think they'll have that, but I, I do. I, know I they, do know. I, I know they won't. It's just a hope I want. I do know they have that like combo meter, because like we were talking yeah. about it, and it's like if you do a certain amount of moves or like a certain amount of type of moves, you get you like a certain you get a certain finisher at the end. Yeah, like a screen nuke or like yeah, something like or that. Or like a beam, like they showed yeah. off in the trailer. Yeah. Or also, like I want to know what's going on with Axel in that. Ah, uh, same. Same. And because but, uh, fucking... Let's... What is Sy- <coughs> does Syax have his fucking, like... <coughs> I can't tell if that Syax is, like... Whatever the fuck it's called. The what's... Claymore. Yeah, the Claymore. Or if that's his fucking, or if that's like Xehanort's Keyblade, but the glowing eyes freak me the fuck out, cause that's like um, hella concerning. That's his claymore. He's okay. holding his claymore. I couldn't tell because of like the glowing part, it made me think of um young Xehanort's Keyblade. Yeah, a little bit. But like the glowing eyes are fucking with me, man. And then Donald's fucking dead. So is yeah. Lee. And so is Kyrie. And Riku. Nah. Uh, left is Sora. Riku's living. I don't think Riku's living. I'm pretty sure he's living. Also, that nah. scream, TM. God damn. It still sends chills down my fucking Also, back. hold on. Hold on. The fucking last bit. Where Sora's jumping at Xehanort. With all of those Keyblades. Yeah. yeah. What the I fuck is I going think- on there? I think that's Xehanort's. I think that's a Xehanort thing. Oh, yeah, I want to know if that's, like, 
that here's the thing that could full on be like nightmare going on or that could be legit like Sora could be having a nightmare or that could be like 100% legit and I need to know yeah I th- I think <sighs> I don't even know I don't even know how to fucking process that honestly like that threw me through such a fucking huge loop when I saw that I was like, wait, what the fuck? I, I'm super excited to see all the shit with Xehanort, man. I am too. I really, I, I really, I'm really excited to see this chapter of Kingdom Hearts end. I am so, 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 so excited to see this chapter end. And like, Nomura is talking about like how he's trying to make it be like, some kind of like the majority of the game is supposed to be like lighthearted. There's no and ha- be like jokey in nature. It's like there's no way it's gonna be that way. There's just no fucking way. There's gonna be so many like important things that are just gonna be like super super heavy for people who love the different characters of the game. Yeah. I'm, oh god, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how this is going to end, and I'm very, very scared. I'm super scared, if I, I, I need to see, I need to see my fucking Birth by Sleep trio living, and I need to see my Nobody trio living, I gotta see, I, I, I gotta see Roxas and Axel and fucking... Shion all together and happy. Yeah. <sighs> I'm. I want to see what happens with drive forms. I really want to see what happens with drive forms because I don't. I don't know if we have any word on drive forms or not. Yeah, there's gonna be drive forms. Okay, we've, I wanna we've see, known I wanna that for a while. We, I again, dumb bitch juice. I have I haven't kept up with the news in a while. Well, this isn't like oh it's not new news. It's old news. Well, again, dumb bitch juice. Also, a little side note that Reaper gets fucking cool. Yeah, it, it really is. Anyway, um, we can talk about Overwatch for a different fucking podcast yeah. format. Video. Yeah. But my big thing. Okay, look, what's your number one let, let me let me ask you something. Two two things. What's your number one want and what's your number one least wanted thing in Kingdom Hearts 3? Mm, my number one want would be the game itself. <laughs> Does the game itself count as my number one want? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, we could count that. Cuz like I have been waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3 for so fucking long. I have I've been super excited ever since I was introduced to the series when I was in, like, fourth grade. And I'm just overly excited because I never thought I would be at a point in my life where I could actually see Kingdom Hearts 3. Because I wasn't allowed to have PlayStations when I was growing up. (laughs) And so, the game itself is just my number one one. Because I'm super excited. I, I'm honestly genuinely going to cry on stream whenever I do the first world because I do yeah. plan on streaming just the first world. And my number one least want is going to be like a really shitty cop-out ending. Yeah. I'm, I'm, really, I, I'm really concerned that the ending is just going to be like some kind of cop-out where it's... Where, where it doesn't leave the player fully uh, satisfied. And I, I'll, I'll draw a comparison to, like, Breath of the Wild. It was the latest Zelda game, and I was super excited about it. And then when I got to the ending, I didn't feel satisfied with the ending. I, like, w- I, I went and got the secret ending, which you can unlock by just getting the Master Sword and doing all the main missions. But I was left unsatisfied. And I'm concerned and worried that Kingdom Hearts 3's ending, because it's such a huge game, is gonna be unsatisfying. Because I feel like Nomura might be trying to make it up to be 
it, it might try to make the ending lead towards Sora's next adventure. Where I would just rather have the secret ending that we're going to get on the 31st be that way. And have the actual ending in the epilogue be full-on closure for the game. Right. I, okay, so, from my experience of my recently beaten games, which have been Okami HD, Bayonetta 1 and 2, Yakuza 0, I don't think with the current, like, air of the AAA developed games, because at this point, Yakuza's gone from a little small budget friends made, friend-made game to this really big anticipated title people are waiting for because uh, to draw a parallel between yakuza and kingdom hearts yakuza just had its kiryu chapter end with six six yakuza six is the last chapter of kazuma kiryu doesn't mean yakuza is over it just means his chapter's over and they're still continuing within the world of kamurocho and everything much like kingdom hearts 3 this is a chapter closing but the series is still going to go on and I don't, and from what I understand in six, because I mentioned before, I haven't played six or beaten it. But from what I hear of six, six gave us a really satisfying ending. And if if Sega can produce a game that gave us a really satisfying ending, I wholeheartedly believe Square Enix can do the same. And I'm sure they can. It's just it's a natural worry that I have that the ending <coughs> will never fully like close and never provide like actual closure that people are wanting that's just that's my number one worry because like what i would like to see them do is give sora a break after after three like i know that i know that we've been told that sora's adventure isn't done with three but i kind of want him to have a break Cause he's gone through a lot. He oh, started. Yeah. He started this when he was like how old? Twelve. Twelve, roughly. I think thirteen. It, Twelve or thirteen, and this boy's a full-on adult now. Yeah. This man has gone through heartbreak after heartbreak. He has saved countless worlds. Let the boy have a rest. Let him go home and see his mom for a while. I wonder how bad <laughs> that dinner's that. gonna taste. <laughs> Let him eat that fucking dinner. Like I, I'm, I. The dinner is gonna be so bad, man. Oh, and God. I want whatever Kingdom Hearts game we get next. That's a main title game. I want it to feature a new cast. Like Sora can show up as like a guide or like yeah, a mentor, yeah, yeah, yeah. but have it be new characters with a new story. Honestly, be- yeah. Because at this point, and I know I know a lot of people are going to feel this way where Kingdom Hearts sort of run its course with its current story. And this needs to end. And that's what it's going, that's what it's set to do, is finally end this, this saga. Yeah. Let the next one be its own thing. And maybe that's what the secret ending is meant for. But I just, I want Sora to have a happy ending and to have a break. You feel? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just, it's so surreal that it's coming up soon, man. Unbelievable. Hell, I wouldn't have gotten my name if it weren't for kingdom hearts i would not have gotten the username shadow roxas if it weren't for kingdom hearts i wouldn't have the name roxy if it weren't for kingdom hearts King- kingdom hearts kingdom hearts came to came in a weird time with me cuz i don't know it just i was looking for a game and kingdom hearts just kind of popped up out of nowhere and it's like oh look at that something to fucking i'm going to fucking i'm going to try this out and when i did it it opened the door to me. It, it opened the door to me because through Kingdom Hearts and watching videos on it, I found some call me Johnny, who showed me No More Heroes. And through No More Heroes, I found Happy Video Game Nerd, who introduced me to the Persona franchise, 
which the Persona franchise introduced me to the Best Friends channel, which introduced me to a bunch of fucking Japanese niche games. This series has opened the door to so many things for me personally that this series holds the fucking closest place in my heart. The series to me... Because, like, I've explained how I got into it. My cousin had a PlayStation 2 that he brought over to our grandmother's house. And one night, he and I just stayed up beating the game together. And I had never seen the game before. I'd never heard of it. But I thought it was so cool. I thought it was so wild. And it just, it was, it was the reason I wanted a PlayStation 2. But I wasn't allowed to get one. And so it always felt like it was that forbidden game that I wasn't ever able to play. And then like when a I, forbidden fruit. Yeah. And then when I found out that they were making a DS game, I was like, no way, I have to play it. And yeah. it was through the DS game that, you know, I, I had a really strong like for Roxas. And it was through the beginning, because that was all I was allowed to play, was the beginning of the game. So, like... I grew up only knowing Roxas, not Sora. And yeah. I Travis and I sort of we we were able to talk about it on the bus ride to school. We were able to talk about the 358 every two days. And then when there there's one scene in 358 that always stands out to me, and it's the scene where Shion was glaring down Zigbar, and then her model changed from hers to Ventus. And I thought that that was Roxas, but with armor. And, like, that's what everybody else at the time thought, because, you know, we didn't know Birth by Sleep was a thing. No, we didn't. And I was like, who, that, that's Roxas, what the hell? And it was, it was such a weird feeling. And it was through that that I that when I was in like eighth grade, I discovered that Birth by Sleep was being a thing. Mm-hmm. And I I took a journalism class in eighth grade, and I all my articles that I ever wrote for journalism were gaming articles. They were always like pre game reviews through information that we could that we knew about. So like there was I did one for Xenoblade Chronicles for the right. Wii and. <laughs> I did one for uh, Birth by Sleep on the PSP. And it was through that where I had decided, you know what? Th- for this Christmas, I'm going to go out, buy a PSP with my Christmas money, and buy Birth by Sleep. And that's what I did. And I fell in fucking love with Birth by Sleep. And then Recode came out the following year, and I was able to play it, and I loved it. But up until that point... The only part of a main series Kingdom Hearts game I had ever played was the ending and the and the beginning at Twilight Town. Right. It, it wasn't until my uh my junior year in high school where I actually played and beat Kingdom Hearts 2 on an emulator on my second laptop. Oh man, emulators. That's <laughs> that's a that's a topic we should talk about. And here's the funny thing with that <laughs> is that once I beat the game and got to the end credits, the emulator kept freezing. Oh, I was never yeah. allowed to get past the end credits because it would always freeze and crash. Fuck, man, that's a feels bad. But I played like all of Kingdom Hearts two on a laptop. And I remember when I beat the game, I was at a hotel, like a really nice hotel in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> and Ironic. I, I was watching the, uh, I was watching the Genesect movie. Hey. And so it was through, it was through like the first three side games. Or, well, I guess it wouldn't be the first three because I never played Chain of Memories. But, like, the first three side games that I played that got me my name. And I met, I made so many friends through that name alone back when I was, back when I frequented Pokemon Online. That it got me those friends. It got me the nickname that I use IRL as Roxas. Like, I, there are people who genuinely, like, will see me walking down the street and say, hey, Roxas, what's going on? 
My te yeah. I had teachers call me that. And wow. so it's crazy. Yeah, it it's such a cool thing to me. And I love the series so fucking much. Or, or and if I didn't, I wouldn't have used that nickname. I wouldn't have used the username Shadow Roxas so long ago. And it wouldn't have gotten me my name now. Because I it, it's a weird thing where your real life name was derived from people making fun of you because of the nickname you use. Because, like, back when I was a little kid, or not a little kid, but back when I was, like, pre-teen and teen, I was, like, online, I was extremely hot-headed. Like, if you, right. looked at, if you looked at me back then and looked at me now, there, was, there would be a stark, stark contrast. Yeah, same, same. And I think, that, I think that could be said for like almost anyone. Be, because online. people would like people would jokingly call me Roxy <coughs> because yeah. they would be like, Are you a you female PMSing lol? And it's through that where I got my fucking name. Yeah. And so it's the series that gave me my name and it's so it's so fucking wild and weird that the saga that we've had is now coming to an end yeah it it's it's honestly a very big it's it's kind of like how i feel with um it i feel the same way i do about kingdom hearts 3 as i do when persona 5 was announced because i i've made it no secret growing up that i am a huge jrpg fan final fantasy super mario rpgs uh secret of mana if it was if it was square or anything atlas related or anything like that i loved it and persona was one of the games i loved and when persona 5 was announced i was ecstatic i was the biggest fan but you can ask literally any of my friends in real life i was the biggest fucking fanboy. the minute i saw one of my friends i walked up to him persona 5 was announced this was back in like fucking i want to say freshman year of high school it's like 2016 2015 to 2016 i love i love it i loved it and like what rocks is to you ted is to me because ted is because theodore was my original nickname and i got ted because of theodore because theodore's character persona 3 and there's just this really big emotional attachment i have to both kingdom hearts and persona that i think that I think no other game really has taken the place of. Even even games like Devil May Cry or Yakuza haven't even taken that place. It's it's like that. There's just certain stories that certain certain stories in games that just captivate you, and certain styles of games just keep you there and keep you stuck, and nothing can replace it. Like yeah. I I would argue that for me. <coughs> Kingdom Hearts will never be replaced by Zelda. No matter how much I love Zelda, Kingdom Hearts will always be higher. Yeah. Just because there's so many more char there's characterization in those games that make me love every character. It's just that little bit, that little oomph it's, that, it, that it's, gets you really liking it. Yeah, it's the extra mile that Square went for with Kingdom Hearts. And to think, we, we have, we have, we have, what we have to thank the series for is an elevator pitch. Yeah. It's fucking, it's fucking crazy. An elevator pitch gave us this fucking series that has spawned fans and fans and like countless fans and has spawned a community that honestly, in terms of JRPG communities, is really fucking fresh, a little bit toxic and a little bit dumb, but every fucking community is like that but they've spawned a, a fandom that i can honestly wholeheartedly say that yeah i like to be in this for once other than the tf2 <laughs> i just i love it. it it's such a great such a great series and people people who aren't into it and people who just love to bash on it to bash on it will like call it edgy and call it cringy because you know it's darkness versus light, and anything 
anything involving darkness whatsoever is cringy and edgy. But at the same time, there's so much more to it with all the characterization, all the stories that we get, that there's an emotional attachment behind it that they can't understand because they refuse to play it. I don't think it's that much. I, I think it's just I think with, with people like that. I think it's yeah they they see it at the surface layer, but they don't try to really go any further than the surface layer. <laughs> it, I guess it depends on who it is because like there's obviously some people who will never want to touch it and only say that it's edgy and cringy and stupid just because it deals yeah. with darkness. Yeah, no, there there are people like that. And it's because they refuse to play it, or they're just, you know, they're just cunts. Hmm. That's one way to put it. <laughs> I, I say that's one way to put it because I, I have friends who, who do that. Like, they, they don't like Kingdom Hearts, so they, they should talk it. And it's like, okay, whatever, fuck it. Yeah, you guys do you. I'm gonna, I enjoy the game. You guys don't have to. And, you know, so anyway. I, I, I've got people like that who's like, they'll bash on it because they don't enjoy the gameplay of it and that's fair you know you can you can not like the gameplay of it but at least you know try to take in how others feel about the game yeah because they might start doing it to the shit that you like yeah and and that's that's just been a running theme with me like if people don't like the shit i like fuck it cool i like i like the things i like like yakuza some people don't like Yakuza. It's like, all right, cool. I like Yakuza. You don't have to fucking play it. I'm not going to fucking force you. I think or, the, or Berserk. I think the only time I ever forced anybody to play anything was, uh, I forced TP to play Splatoon. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> that's about it. <coughs> I... I don't... Th from my... From the top of my head, I don't think I forced anyone to play anything. No, I take that back. I forced my brother to play... Uh, an MMO with me one time, but that that's besides the point. Fucking other than that, no, I've never forced anyone to play a game with me, even Kingdom Hearts. Like, I fuck, man, Kingdom Hearts. God damn, this series is fucking great, and this it chapter is. This chapter's coming to a close, and I don't I don't know how to feel. That I'm I'm just gonna be real. I don't know how to feel. I 100% guarantee that I'm gonna cry. Oh no, without a fucking doubt, I'm gonna be the biggest baby. Like, I kind of wish I had face cam set up just so I could have that shit fucking captured. I have face cam set up. <laughs> yeah, I know you do, but I don't. <laughs> I can't uh, I can't really properly set one up now, can I? No, you can't. But with that said, you can expect our streams to do day one and or day two streaming of Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, because I love Kingdom Hearts, and I I wanted this month. I wanted to really do a key a key Keyblade only run of Kingdom Hearts. Any difficulty Keyblade only. I'm still working but, on that. <laughs> but my my Yakuza playthrough is taking up all my time. I'm still working on that. I need to stream that. God, that's gonna be fun. That would be fun. I'm but, uh, I'm doing that on proud mode in Kingdom Hearts 2 right now and I think I'm like I'm like over halfway done. I'm just doing a little bit of grinding right now. Right. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts 3 streams though. Uh I'm pretty sure I said this earlier, but I'm only going to be streaming the first world. I'm not streaming anything beyond that purely because I don't want I don't want to spoil it for anyone. And you know, already already streaming the first world is kind of touching that line, but I only just I only want to do the first world just to get you know people's feet wet. Yeah, and to get myself my my own feet wet. I'm probably gonna do a playthrough before I stream it, like personal playthrough, and then stream it. I just want my initial reactions captured. Yeah. Because I like I like to have that. I did it. I did it with Breath of the Wild. Like I streamed Breath of the Wild for like six and a half hours when it came out. <laughs> Shit, that's like that and for like the me. for the first hour, my mic was muted and I had no idea. Wow. Nobody in stream told me until like an hour in. 
Oh my god. It's like me. I fucking streamed for six hours with the Rathalos event on Final Fantasy fourteen. You, st you streamed more than six hours. I thought, really? Did yeah. I? Yeah. <laughs> you streamed, like, almost all day. Fuck, man. That, that was a long, that was a fucking riot and a half right there. Anyway, um... So that, that that's actually something I, I want to talk about. What what are your biggest hopes for secret bosses? Because in Kingdom Hearts One we had Aghanim, uh, we had Sephiroth, and we had the we had the I think Ice Tyrant. I Titan. have no clue. And in Kingdom Hearts Two we had obviously Sephiroth, Lingering Will, um, Birth by Sleep. We had the uh, Lingering Will. Because not that's, I sleep. Yeah, it's a different lingering will, but that's what it's called. Mm. The, the Vanitas' remnant or lingering will. It was one of the other. Oh, Vanitas it, remnant. That's it, what it was. It was called. I I've seen it referred to as both lingering spirit. That's it, lingering spirit. Yeah. Um. Li there was lingering spirit. <laughs> there was Terranort, which I get. Terranort counts as a secret boss. I guess yeah. Because it's like it's technically like after you beat all three, and it is tied to it is part of I guess final episode is what is that what it's called? I guess it, um, I guess it counts because yeah, you still it, get it, it after count, beating yeah. all three, and then you've yeah, got the you've got the Zemnis boss fight. Mm -hmm. And what yeah. is it? Oh, Kingdom Hearts One. We had a we had the Zemnis boss fight there too. Did you have a Zemnis boss fight in one? Yes, he was a he was he was called the the hooded figure. That's what he was called in Birth by Sleep. Yeah, he he was called the hooded figure in one too. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. He was a hard fucking fight in Kingdom Hearts one. Brown hooded figure on. Oh, I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Um. I know there's a there's more in Birth by Sleep too because like in the final mix you've got like you've got the, the um, arena boss of Xehanort yeah, to armor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no name. No name. No. Yeah. Is it no name? It's no name. No, that's a keyblade. Never mind. Yeah, that's uh, no heart. Like, that's what it is. That's no it. Heart. I knew it was um, no something. <laughs> and then we've got... You've got the, the secret ending. Where... It's like Final Mix exclusive. Where you have Aqua going through the realm of darkness. And yeah. you have to fight that giant fucking dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think... I think those are the only games with secret boss fights, is it? Dream Drop Distance had Julius... Oh yeah, I fucking forgot about him because he quite literally blocks a part of um Traverse Town. You can't um uh, you can't go through there without initiating the secret boss fight. Right, this boss fight's easy to manipulate too. It is if you it, it it's not if you're playing it the first time, but if you're like no, ne never, if never the if first you time. look if you look how to like beat him and you just spam the fucking Balloon. balloons then yeah, it's easy as shit it, that's that's something i like about that julius fight it, it's balloon ra that that has his downfall not balloonaga balloon i use ra. both really mm -hmm. i know the best way is uh balloon ra and then bop him a few times go to the other side balloon ra bop him a few times just rinse repeat because his pattern resets every time like a mega man boss yeah um 358 didn't have one. No. Uh, neither did Recoded. I was about to say, I don't oh, think Recoded did. Did Chain of Memories have one? Um... I know Chain of Memories had, like, the Riku episode. But I don't think that would be considered, like, secret. Uh... No, I don't think so, no. Hold on. There's a fan mod that you fight a barrel <laughs> for for the uh for the secret boss. But uh, other than that, no. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories and Rechain of Memories 
they both didn't have a secret boss fight. Yeah. However, Rechain had a fight that had a fight added to it that the original chain didn't, and that was the Marluxia phase three or two fight. The one reason the giant mech. I have no fucking clue. Yeah, I, if I'm if I'm wrong, correct me because my memory's really fucking hate but, but i remember there being something added to rechain that wasn't in original chain i didn't finish chain well that was for the comments <laughs> um so, let's see that, that, so my my biggest hope for for secret bosses is i want something from i want more final fantasy fights i want a final fantasy boss fight again that's not sephiroth i want sephiroth but at the same time, I I really, really, really want a good fucking monster boss. I want Behemoth. I, I I'm just gonna say it. Doubt that we're gonna get a Final Fantasy boss fight beyond Sephiroth, mainly because Nomura said that he felt that Kingdom Hearts didn't need Final Fantasy characters added to it anymore because it can stand on its own. The only, oh, I'm not saying, I'm the not only saying reason like... they were added to begin with was to help Kingdom Hearts like get out there for popularity, which is fair. And now, just... and now that it's like in its current spot, it doesn't need the Final Fantasy characters, and so he no, I agree. he doesn't just... want to add any. I think. I'm just saying, like as a hope, like I want like a like a like a Noctis secret boss or something. That would be cool. It would because Noctis. Is a known traveler of dimensions, apparently. Yeah. He's in fucking. He's in fucking Tekken, and he's in the whole plot line involving him in Dissidia is he's called from another realm. Well, like there's a straight up spot in Final Fantasy 15 where you can go to, and he just gets teleported out of his world into another mm -hmm. one. Mm hmm. I was I was telling you about that because I found that out and I went and did it and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. So a Noctis boss fight wouldn't be too too far fetched, right? Mm, I feel like I feel like it would be. I feel like if if it might be DLC, if there is gonna be one, a, like a Noctis, a Final Fantasy boss fight, it would be that's not Sephiroth. It would be added as DLC. Yeah, no, absolutely. I that absolutely, I agree. I don't think it's gonna be like day one shit that I'm hoping for. No, like this is future DLC probably. Uh, like, on disc, secret boss fights, I think, I, I'm excited for Sephiroth, even though I've never beaten Sephiroth. God, I love beating Sephiroth. Um, mm. I want there to be a Sora versus Riku secret boss fight that you get. Yes. I would fucking I want... love that. I want that. I want that boss fight, and I want it to be heart wrenching. Cause halfway through the fight, it could cut back. It could be like be a big callback to one where they're fighting with the wooden sword. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I really, really want that. I I want that so bad. And I feel like there has to be a Sora versus Ventus secret boss fight as well. Yeah, we've already had Riku fight Ventus, so I feel like Sora has to fight him as well. <laughs> Yeah, honestly. I mean, I want. I feel I like want, it's. I, I feel like it's deserved too, considering Ventus has been squatting inside of Sora for like years now. Yeah, like, <laughs> hey, I've been inside of you, so I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, like, oh, I, all right, I guess. I've been in, I've been sleeping inside of your heart for years, I'm bitch. We're fighting. Fuck. I'm rusty as fuck. Bitch, we're fighting. Wait, what? Bitch, we're fighting. But, but, but you just woke up. I'm fucking fighting you. No, no, no. I think it would be Sora initiating the fight. What? No, I think it'd be Ventus. <laughs> it would 100% be Sora. No, no, like, no, 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 no. Like, th no this way. dude's been si this dude's been sleeping inside of Sora's heart for years, and is the reason that he's been targeted for years. <laughs> Sora's gotta get that aggression yeah. out. Sora's, Sora's not like that, though. 
he, he could be. No. He, no hold no, on. He's... I think it could be. I, th I, I don't think it would be like outright resentment. I think it would be like, I want to see why they've been after your ass for years. I think that'd be more of a Riku thing. Well, no, because Riku's already fought him. Exactly. Techni like, technically I, I, speaking, I think... in Dream Drop Distance, Riku already fought Ventus to save Sora because there was that there was the um I I can't remember the name of it. It wasn't Anti Black Coat Nightmare because that I was motherfucker. I I did not finish. I Dream Drop Distance. I fucking hated that boss fight. Riku had so many final boss fights. It went from Anti Black Coat Nightmare to Ansem. To Ansem again. To fucking... To fucking, um... The Ventus one. No, no. It was young Xehanort. And then it was Ventus. He had five final boss fights. Fuck, dude. Here's the issue with that, though. You can't access any of them until you do Sora's. Wow. You have to beat Xehanort with Sora first... Before you can access any of Riku's final bosses. Wow, that's that's bullshit. <laughs> it, it it well, there's a reason why, and it's because Riku was inside of Sora during all of Dream Drop Distance. Yeah. So Riku was uh, he was dreaming in a dream, whereas Sora was just dreaming. Wow. And then after they rescued Sora from a uh, young Xehanort. Uh, Riku dove back into Sora's heart and fought the Ventus boss, which I it was like it was a twisted version of Ventus. Hold on, Ventus boss fight. DDD. Armored vent armored nightmare. That's what it is. The armored Ventus nightmare. Armored Ventus nightmare. That is such an edgy name. Anti black coat nightmare. That's the first of Riku's final bosses. But, wow. But the armored Ventus nightmare, what it is, is it's Ventus holding the kingdom key in his backhand style in the armor with the, I think it's the Dream Eater symbol on his mask. Or on his, um, head. It, well, technic it, it says that it's Sora clad in Ventus's Keyblade armor, but it's it's Ventus, right? You're just you're saving Sora from it, but it is it is a wild fight. It's actually one of my favorites in the game. I hot take: I don't like Dream Drop Distance. Not a lot of people do. I I I'm in I'm in with a. I'm probably with the majority. I don't. I just mm -hmm. don't like Dream Drop Distance. I love because Dream Drop Distance. <laughs> I like it for the fact that it gave us a playable Riku and Dream Eaters, and it gave the world ends with you some much needed recognition. Really fucking did. But other than that, I. It's the one Kingdom Hearts story where I can honestly say I did not give a single fuck what was happening in it. Well, here's the thing. Not there wasn't a lot of consequence. No, because all just it felt was like shit was happening. Well, all it was was shit was going on inside of dreams, mm -hmm. and that was it. There was no like major consequence to like doing it because it was their way of becoming Keyblade Masters. This was yeah. their test. It was it's the mark of mastery. It's just that Organization Thirteen hijacked it. Yeah. And I just no, I just don't, I just don't like it. I and that's do. that's my biggest fear for KH KH three. I don't want it to turn into another Dream Drop Distance where something happens and I don't care about it. Well, here's the thing: the, you have to play Dream Drop Distance like before three because of so many things that happen. Like I know what happens in it, obviously. It's just I haven't played it. You should. Like you can ignore the story, just play it for the gameplay. I I I don't like the gameplay. What? I don't I don't like flow motion. But you don't need flow motion. Oh, well, like you need it for certain sections, but you don't necessarily have to use it. 
Mm. Like, in combat, it's completely optional. Yeah. I liked it. And it is, Flow Motion is coming back in 3. Yeah. Which makes me excited because I, I liked Flow Motion. I thought it was a fun way of, like, going about the world. Because you, you took the world, or, like, took Traverse Town, condensed it a bit, and made it so that the flow motion felt really great. And I liked it. But then again, I'm in, like, the minority that actually enjoys Dream Drop Distance. Yeah. See, I like Dream Drop Distance for the reasons people don't like Sonic Adventure. I love the, I love the Dream Eaters. And I love the Chow. And the dream meters are great. The dream meters are fucking great. I, I like. I liked how they did it on the 3DS version, where you had the IR, uh, or the AR dream meters. There, did you not play the 3DS version? No, I did. With the uh, the augmented reality, you could take screenshots <laughs> of the dream meters, like in real life. I thought that was the coolest fucking thing. Yeah. We should probably be wrapping this up because this has gone on for like an hour and forty minutes now. <laughs> well, thank you for having me, Roxy. Yeah, man. This is this this was a really fun thing to do, and I hope we could do we get to do this more in the future. Honestly, I, this, I hope we really do fun. too. Uh, what I want to do is after we both beat the game and we both uh. We both see the ending, the epilogue, and the secret ending. We come back and do another one, and we talk about what we talk about the experience. Absolutely. Like I feel like I feel like maybe that's have a thing we have in, to maybe, do. Maybe have one in between then and there, like ha have like little small one, like small bite-sized ones in between for like different game series we're hyped for, like Bayonetta yeah. or or stuff like that. You know, Bayo three. Whenever we get new information on it, Camilla, where's our fucking news? Let me just add him at Twitter real quick. <laughs> Get blocked. <laughs> Get blocked. <laughs> hey, come here. Where's Bear Three? Blocked. So, so do you? So before before we leave, before we close out and get, get out of the way. Do you think after Kingdom Hearts 3 drops, Nomura takes up Kamiya's cape and says "fuck everyone" and blocks everyone? <laughs> no. Oh, that'd be the biggest no, big dick move. Nomura, he's he's not like that. Well, there was a tweet that went out with that um with that thing we watched where he was like he'd mentioned that he knew that you know flus and colds were going around and he just wanted everybody to be like be safe and be healthy and I was like god bless this man I love him no more is great yeah like, Kamiya's great too, but Nomura, he, he cares. Whereas yeah. Kamiya's just like, nah, fuck him. Kamiya, Kamiya is the definition of fuck everything, dog. I'm going out with a fucking blaze of glory. Uh. But yes, I, th I think that's going to do it for this episode, right? Yeah. So, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 will be here soon. God. Uh, probably when this gets uploaded, it'll be like eight, nine or eight days till it comes out. Um, I'm going to be streaming the beginning, um, on the 28th because early release, which 28th is going to be a Monday. Um, it'll be late afternoon to like nighttime that i'll be streaming it and that'll be at twitch.tv slash the jester's room ted when are you gonna stream i'm gonna stream after my first playthrough so that is undetermined sometime, as of right now assuming sometime in like february sometime in february maybe march however if you want to check if you if you want to just check me out you can check me out at twitch.tv slash kawaii on the street i stream yakuza devil may cry bayonetta character action games uh hack and slash rpgs i stream all that shit so if you're interested in that check me out hit the follow button or if you don't want to just call me an idiot i certainly do yeah she, she yeah yeah honestly, just go, <laughs> just go, 
literally go watch like any of our VODs and there's definitely at least at least three times Roxy's called me an idiot. Watch where Ted was failing at playing bowling because he sucks at bowling. Uh, I thought you were going to bring up the fucking half an hour of looking for dog food. No, I think I think losing to Majima in bowling is a lot more funnier. Fair enough. Anyway, that's my plug. <laughs> um, uh, oh, follow me on Twitter with the same handle, but instead of ST... R E E T, it's S T R T because someone already took street. And as like a final quick plug here, uh, I know nobody was like in this video for it, but go check out Toon Dice on Twitter and YouTube. Uh, you, you guys can see me there, do a video with Scott. We do the uh, we do the game view stuff on there, so yeah. Uh, oh, and Stay tuned for our for Roxy and I's let's play of Bayonetta One. Oh That's yeah, fun. We, yeah. <laughs> Be sure to keep an eye out for that. Yeah, definitely. So see you guys. See ya.